Well, here we are, and welcome to the first official Peach Quiz Stakes horse racing event. The excitement is building as the eight riders make their way to the starting gate. Riders from all over the globe are taking part today on a variety of different thoroughbreds. We're just moments away as we start to take a look at the eight runners. The ground looks good to firm and they'll be running over a distance of 1600 meters. No fences on this one though. So here is rider number one, her Beans Means Heights. The German champion riding his horse Nersprung Dutch Technik. Expected to win with odds of one to one. Will certainly be the one to beat. It's the Canadian women's champion who wears number two, the flamboyant Eliana Moose Sausage with her stocking stallion expected to run well. But with odds of 7,630 to one, it could be a tough afternoon for Eliana. Daffid 3Ls Jones wears three. The Welshman prefers an unorthodox approach, attaching handlebars and an Elvis quiff to his innocent filly. At 50 to 1 though, he's certainly in with a shout. The fabulous McTavish brothers inject some style into this event, riding the long leg-based tandem. Raised eyebrows though, as the Scots are wearing American livery. 8 billion to 1 suggests they're not going to do well this afternoon. Riding an unpredictable bull, Don Gokwan Ramirez Jr. will be hoping to follow in his Spanish father's footsteps and to perform much better than the 20,500 to 1 odds predict. Next, representing Nigeria, Prince Augustus Serengeti couldn't get his horse through customs, so was rented a zebra from London Zoo. The prince is ever unpredictable, but at 2,500 to 1, he's expected to fare well. The English hopeful Jeff Jefferson Jeffries has never won a professional event. He's convinced that his homegrown giraffe will outpace any seasoned thoroughbred. But at 5,000 to 1, he's unlikely to convince anyone. A wild card entry at 8, Bruce Crocksnapper from Australia has little experience on a horse. We're unsure he knows he's riding a pantomime horse today. 1 million to 1 suggests he doesn't stand a chance. And the race officials are about to get the race underway as the trumpeteers tooting their tune. They're under starter's orders. And they're off. It's Beans Means Hines galloping into an early lead with Daffid 3Ls just behind. The Canadian Moose Sausage is keeping pace too. A couple of lengths behind, the McTavish brothers appear to be in sync. Prince Augustus has his zebra up to speed. The bull of Gok Hwan lollops along in sick. And right behind is Jefferson Jeffries on the giraffe. Croc Snapper has already fallen well behind. They're rounding the bend and we still have all runners in place. But oh no, there's been a faller, and the pantomime horse is split in half. Around the far bend, and the front three are pulling away. It's Heinz from New Sausage, followed by three L's. What's going on here? Prince Augustus has taken to standing on his zebra, and now he's jumping. New Sausage has fallen well behind as her horse has mounted the wall, and she appears to be done. What the heck is happening to the giraffe? Good lord, it's all going off here, with the Germans sidestepping along the final straight. The McTavish brothers have extended their horse, but it may be too late. And it's a photo finish. 
We can see Three Owls appears to be winning, but Jeff Jefferson Jeffries has raced along the neck of his giraffe to launch himself into first place. A remarkable finish. So Jeff Jefferson Jeffries wins, and Three Owls Jones in second with Beans Means Hines taking third spot. スタートしました。世界最強決戦。まず飛び出したのは1番人気無敗の3冠馬、1番銀シャリボーイ松岡正美。続いて3番直線番長、ツヤツヤのリーゼント。さらにフランス最強品馬、2番ピンクフェラモ